So ever since the invention of the tyre in 1870 by John Dunlop, people have been changing tyres, which to me, that makes it a traditional skill. So what I thought I'd do is I need to change a tyre, I get myself a manual tyre changer. And people have been using these ever since the invention of the tyre to change tyres. Up until 1970, that's when they invented the uh, automatic tyre changer. So most people who have been in the tyre industry would have been using one of these. So I'd love to give it a go and I've got the perfect excuse. So let's have a go. So they say to mount the tyre changer on the flattest and most secure surface you got. Well, this is all I could find it was a lovely trusty tree stump. And to be honest, I don't think I could get better than that. So let's give it a go. I've got a selection of tyres here to break the beads on first. So I've got a mini tyre, let's try that one out. Now he's a bit on a slope, so uh, yeah, I don't know how that's going to go. Oh, that worked really well. I better be a bit gentle with the proper one. This is just a scrap tire. Well, that's one done. This is another scrap tyre. Let's have a go on this one. He smells. That's another one done. Right, now this is the proper one. Let's see if this one goes as easy. Oh, do you know what? Maybe I should, maybe I should release the air. I didn't do that with the others, but this one's a, a lot more. No, I didn't do that with the others. God, he come off really easy. Got some uh, bead, se uh, bead sealant in there, so it's quite sticky.
Oh, so I didn't use any water on this one, did I? That come off quite well. Right, that's the bead broken. Should we uh, try and get the tire off now? Which one shall we go for? This one. So I think first of all, let's spray it with some uh, soapy water. Let's spray it with some soapy water. That should be enough. Well, that was nice and easy. Hope I don't speak too soon. Right, awesome, one done. Let's have a go with this one. This is a mini wheel. I know that because it says mini on it. This was just lying in a ditch somewhere and I thought, wicked, I got the ideal project for that. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. He says after doing one tire, not even doing a whole tire. Ah, put him back on the rim. This is getting a bit loose. I didn't do that one up as tight that time. Right, another tire done. I'm only gonna put one back on. All right, now let's do my tire now. All right. All right, I learned that this needs to be quite tight. That's quite tight, isn't it?
Yes, right. Now for the tricky bit. So this is just soapy water, <laughs> washing up liquid. Just give it a real good soaking. And then the new tire. Brand new tire. Got off Amazon, 26 pounds. It came in like three days. Okay, now this is where you have to use this. And this is the bit I'm not looking forward to. Yeah, I have no idea how to use this bit. Get them off with a breeze, get them on. Nearly there. It's not as easy as it looks online. Ah, what the fuck is that way? No, that's even worse. Cool. That was a fight. Oh, it's on. <laughs> Brilliant. So, what I found figured is that you have to sort of push down like that to keep it in there, but then you can pull it. I've got to try and seat this bead. Will that work? <laughs> Job done. So I did it. That was great fun. I had a really good time changing these tires. This is a fantastic tool. And I tell you what, if you want one, or you're thinking about getting one, or just want to have a go, go out and get one. It is brilliant. You can get them on, e I got mine on eBay. So yeah, do you know what? It's that much fun. I'm going to put these other tires back on. Cheers.